I have one today in this video I will be showing you how to install a WordPress site on your IONOS hosting. We will be visiting ionos.com as then you log in to your hosting username. At this stage I assume you already have your domain that you already purchased from IONOS. So once you logged in you have to come to menu and you go to domains and SSL. Uh, from here, yeah, I have, have one domain here, which is the dom main domain, and it has WordPress installation already in it. So most of you might find this kind of a situation. So you cannot see, I have one domain here and some other three subdomains. So from here, there are two, I'm going to be showing you two options. One that you're going to click use your domain. The other one, how you can be able to install when there is no use your domain button around it here so let's start with the first one where you're going to use your domain so let's click on this so when you in this area you don't have to select any of this because if you click any of this it's going to take you to the inbuilt website builder of ionos so you're going to scroll down and look for this called create website so you scroll down to create a website with wordpress and right from here, you're going to select which domain you want to install your WordPress site. So I'm going to see the very last one down. And from here, you're going to select WordPress. So from here, you're going to give your website a name. And you go ahead and create a website. And you give in the login credentials. One thing it shows you here, the the preview, how your website looks like. So I'm going to give a web the username and the password you can choose your preferred language and accept the terms of use or here you're going to choose either manage wordpress or you choose just wordpress <coughs> after that the installation is going to take place you're going to wait a short time in case you like this video please you can hit the subscribe button you share with your friends and also you can like it so you can see the installation is complete but uh, before we go to edit a website we are i need to show you the second procedure how you can be able to install wordpress when you are not able to see use domain so we're just going to from this i don't want to open this as well we're going to visit ionos again then we still go to menu and go to domain ssl so you can see from here i have I have this domain which has the installation already in it even my main domain it has this installation so we do not be able to see we can't be able to see the use your domain button so what are you going to do about this for this case what we're going to do is this one you're going to click this for this case what we're going to do is first of all to remove this installation to make sure it clears off and becomes a fresh install so how are we going to remove this installation from this domain so for this we need to remove this installation here so what are we going to do about this you're going to click the settings button and you're going to click adjust destination from here you're going to scroll down and select reset domain and from this you're going to select check this in case there are even two you're going to check all then you say reset after that you will be able to come back to domains and SSL and from here you see it is resetting this domain but also that's not the end you have to go to you go to go back to menu and go to hosting we don't want to see problems with your website what we have to do is to delete all these other two databases that we are not using i have one website which is built on this database so but we are going to delete all this other one so how are we going to delete these databases either you can use a web space for example let me open web space under web space this is where you can as well upload anything that you feel like uh, your plugins themes you can be able to upload through this but you come to click and build and you find two databases are in here actually three of them but i'm going to delete all these two also you can delete this i only leave the main database i have i can go back to hosting and service so you can see this the other ones i have to delete this as well you can see this other two i have to remove them and also this one i delete it so now our install is very clean we can go back to home and go to domain and ssl and you can see this if we check our subdomains here 
already all of it is cleared but this time i don't want her to use uh, this button called use your, your domain this time we're going to use a different procedure this one we're going to open a new tab and we're going to type in my.ionos.com word flash app center so it's going to bring us to the control panel uh, from the control panel you're going to click install WordPress, there are very many other apps there, but we're selecting WordPress. And this area, you're just going to click install. Still, you can name your website. Then you create. And you're going to put in your user details and the password. And you're going to click continue as well as you can change your language and accept terms of, terms of use. Uh, here you're going to choose either manage WordPress or just WordPress alone. So I'm going to choose WordPress and you can select which domain you want to connect to this. I'll choose this one and you assign it a domain. Now you give it some short time to finish the installation. Uh, in case you face some big challenges on, on, on your website in IONOS, I do offer support in my website that is btechplaza.com you can go to the contact us page or you go to services and you say web development it will be able to redirect you to the page you can be able to request for your help if you need at a very small cost so once this is done you're going to edit the website so from here you're going to enter your details that you created earlier Ionos gives you the assistant you can use but for this case I don't want I'm an expert you too is an expert you can either continue with jetpack or not I don't want jetpack as well I will install later so you can see this is the default all your dashboard of WordPress from here I'm sure you're very much familiar to this in case you have more challenges with WordPress and uh, customization of website please uh, you can leave it in the comment section i'll record a video about it and be able to support you thank you guys in case you like this video please share with your friends and also you can like and also subscribe to this channel thank you